All right, hello there. This is Mary Rodia with Knoxville Baby Warrior International, and today I am going to show you how to do the break and carry, which is basically like a triple hammock with a special ring finish. So I have two sling rings, and I have a Diddy Aurora 6, and my four-year-old, almost five-year-old, uh -huh. wants to be my demo uh -huh. child today, so we'll uh -huh. see how that works out, because she doesn't go up very much anymore. So... Um, I just kind of start with the wrap about where I want it to end. It's not the best um, indication of how much wrap that you need. But I like to have my tails for this particular carry go to um, about right under um, where my, my waist would end, basically. So just a little bit longer than that. And then from there, I'm going to sort of find where that middle marker lands on my back from how I want that carry to land. And then that is where I'm going to start my carry on my child's back. Put this down, you can't have it while you do the video. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make a good attempt to Superman. I'm not Plus, Superman. <laughs> this big baby <laughs> on my back. <laughs> so you're going to take the wrap and just kind of put that up over their shoulders like this. You're going to grab a hold of them under their arms, pinning the wrap underneath them. And just sort of do a oh, twist around <laughs> to get them up onto your back. All right, so from here, we're going to make her seat. She's definitely going to want her arms out. So pull your arm out, up. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to have both of these rails come up over my shoulders while I okay, make the seat. Yeah, I'm going. And then, okay, arm up. Yeah. Alright, so now her top rails are out, but obviously the wrap is not under her bum in any way, shape, or form. So we're going to get that corrected quickly. So I'm going to pin these tails. And actually, because she's so big, I'm going to pull that down. Stop it. Get down. Alright, there we go. I'm going to make it a little easier to work with you. And hey, you have to get them <laughs> Go down I'm going to pull this out a little bit yeah, no. this way. Seems like I underestimated how much um, tail I will have. Mommy's with a making a video of me. Stop. Stop. Alright, so from here. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> she can do Shush. Alright, so from here. <laughs> going to get her seat made. And it's a little hard to hey. get with them. Um, but I want to try to get, there we go, need any coverage, I'll be right there. as much as possible. So I'll now that right we have that need any coverage, okay, this rail is going to stay over my shoulder, applying as much yeah. tension as possible as I can to keep her nice and safe and secure up here. I'll be right there. And then... We're going to make a double hammock pass, basically a rebozo pass, with this rail right here. So we are going to drop it under my shoulder. I'm going to back up a little so you can see. And we're going to cross it under this rail I had pinned. And then from there, we're going to spread across your chest, underneath your arm. And then I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll be right back. back. I'll get them back. Uh, pop it up over baby's back. Wait, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to get some gas. Okay. You're going to get some gas? She's going to get some gas for okay. her arm. Alright, so with this carry, instead of doing a typical um, double hammock pass where it's spread completely across our chest, we're actually going to go through and gather this up on our chest, kind of going across our chest, almost like a chest belt first. So. Now that I've got that there, I'm going to gather up. I like to keep it spread first because I feel like it keeps the baby in a little bit more um, secure of a position. So then just go through and sort of make sure everything is tight while still keeping that seat. Um, with a typical double hammock, this is going to go over your shoulder, but with this one, we are then going to go under our bust and just sort of around the waist and then do um, basically another triple hammock pass and go under this leg which makes it a nice um, wiggle proof carry as well 
So sort of gather it first and then spread up and across the back again. With my four-year-old, which I have not honestly actually done this carry with, I probably should have used a seven because I'm running out of tail. Let's see if I can get enough adjusted up to finish out the carry to show it to you. <laughs> so let me see if I tighten yeah. how much. Okay, so go around your waistband. And as I sort of did, just sort of tighten everything out. Make sure that everything is tucked and secure. This is a workout. I'm... <laughs> okay. So from here, I'm not going to have a lot of tail to do the really pretty finish that it normally works out to be. But I'm going to try to get her bounced up really, really high so we can do... Yay. As much as we can, at least. <laughs> All right, so from here, we're going to get sling ring one and pull it into our tail. That tail is going to then go across and under your chest pass. Oh, and then back through your ring. And then we're just gonna leave it alone for a second after we get it nice and tightened up. All right, and do the same thing with this other side. All right, so, um, sling ring goes through. The Pass goes underneath your chest pass. Back through your sling ring. All right, and then from here, I like to get these adjusted um, kind of as far up as I can. I just think they look a little bit better that way. And then what you're gonna do is just tuck these tails into your waistband. spread and this is my little tail so it's not gonna be spread and look quite as pretty as the other one but nonetheless it'll still have the same effect to it so tuck through your waistband <laughs> all right and then just spread your chest and make it look nice and pretty. So with a longer wrap you'll have more sort of tail kind of flowing down on both sides and it kind of gives you um, really like a shirt type of an appearance and then you can just sort of adjust your rings as you see fit and comfortable but as you can tell um, it's a very very secure carry even with a big <laughs> baby almost five-year-old actually and it's not that bad i'm uh, seven months pregnant as well so as long as i can get this um, waistband pass a little bit high up over a uh, baby bump baby bump then it's actually not that bad so nice and secure but if you do it with a five-year-old i guess use a seven <laughs> so there you go that is the franken carry nice high snug good supportive um, it's actually not that bad. If these, um, if you do have a heavier baby and you feel like these are pulling, you can sort of spread these out over your shoulders as well. So just sort of do a little bit more of a spread. And there you have the Frank and Gary. Hi, thank you guys.